I'm going to show you how to build a video chat app in iOS using Video.io in just a few minutes. All right, let's get started. First, let's open up Xcode, create a new Xcode project, a single view application will do, and we'll call it Video.io Demo. We'll leave the team, organization name, and identifier as is, and let's build this app using Objective-C. First, let's set the deployment target to iOS 8.0 for backwards compatibility. Next, let's add our framework as, a, as an embedded binary. Video client iOS framework. Create the folder references. Next, let's update some build settings. Set the entitlements file. Entitlements file is used for security purposes and it's going to be parallel to our project directory. And it's called video io demo dot entitlements. Next, let's update some search paths. The framework search path that we the framework that we just added, it's search path. It's also relative to the project directory. It's parallel to it. And then the header search path. Our headers are located within the framework itself. So let's set the project, set that also relative to the project directory. And then the framework name, which is video client iOS.framework, and then slash headers. Change that to recursive. Next, let's update the info plist file. We'll add several privacy settings. One for the camera, we'll call that video chat. And then one more for the microphone. Again, we'll call that video chat. Next, let's start building our UI. We'll render our video in a simple UI view and have that cover a good portion of our interface. Next, we'll add several buttons right underneath that one to connect, and another button to disconnect. Let's lock in, lock in those UI elements by setting, the, setting them to the suggested constraints. And next, let's link those UI elements to code. Bring up our header file. First, the view. Call that video view, where our video will be rendered. Uh, next, the connect button, which will be an action, and we'll call that connect. And lastly, our disconnect button, which will also be an action, and we'll call that disconnect. Let's close this, and let's go into our header file for a moment and we will import a single file which is under LMI video client and it's called video connector underscore objective C dot H. We will also implement an interface called I inherit an interface called iConnect which whose uh, reason of adding this will be shown in in the source. Let's go to our source file We'll add a single member variable of type connector pointer, we'll call that C. Next, in our view did load, let's initialize our video client library by calling video client connector initialize. And then construct our connector object by calling connector alloc and then init. 
whose first argument will be a uh, reference to the video view. We'll set the style to default, connector view style default. The max remote participant count to 16. Log file we're not concerned about here, so we'll set that log file filter to empty string as, as well as the log file name. And user data also is not relevant here, so we'll set that to zero. Next, let's uh, implement view did appear. First, let's call the base class view did appear. And next, we'll call uh, our show view at method, connect method, which will uh, specify where uh, in the view the 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 video should be rendered. So we'll uh, set the first argument to a reference to the video view, and within that, the x offset will be zero, y offset will be zero, its width will be set to video view dot frame dot size dot width, and the height will be video view dot frame dot size dot height. Next, let's uh, implement the connect button being pushed by uh, calling the connect method. Uh, the first argument will be the host, which will be prod.video.io. The next argument is a token, which uh, I have previously generated. And uh, I'm going to set that to this value. In a real application, uh, a backend server will generate the token. Display name, we'll set that to demo user. And the resource ID, which is the room that you want to connect to, we'll call that demo room. The connect is expecting an iConnect object. So uh, we have inherited that inter interface, so we could just set that argument to self. And uh, that's that. Disconnect method, we'll call it disconnect. And the last thing we'd like to do is to implement the uh, methods of the iConnect interface. And there are three of them. The first one are on success, which will be called when the connection is successful. Next is on disconnected, when the connection has disconnected for any reason. And lastly, on failure, if the connection has failed. We won't implement the, uh, the methods, anything inside of the methods for this demo, but in a real application, the developer would do, would do something in response to those three methods being called. Uh, so that's it. So let's, uh, let's build it. First, let's set the target to a generic iOS device and then begin the build process. As you have seen, the build has succeeded. So now we could uh, load it onto a device and give it a shot. As you can see, the app has been loaded on the mobile device. So now let's connect to the room. We've now connected, so now let's disconnect. That's it. We hope you found this helpful.